Now I just want to show you a feature called Quick Insights. Quick Insights is an interesting feature in Power BI. It's an incomplete feature, I would say. And you'll understand more once I go into it. But I do like the direction here, the direction of where they're trying to go with Power BI and with some machine learning algorithms that sit under, uh, behind the, the, the data and, uh, and mine through the data to find insights automatically is a pretty cool direction. And as they develop that more and it becomes more insightful and more powerful, then that's gonna help the general consumer of information. It will make us data developers worth a little bit less but I'm sure there'll be more advanced stuff that we'll be able to do at that time. But anyway, to get access to the Quick Insights feature, um, you need to go down to the data sets here. So down in data sets, let's find our report, uh, report data set. And then you see there's three dots here. And you can select View Insights. Now if I select View Insights, it takes me to this Quick Insights for Power BI a demo, which Power BI demo is the name of our report. Now, as we go through the list here, there's a number of insights that they've tried to automatically come up with. And I would say that most of these are pretty darn useless. So they don't actually offer us anything over what we've already discovered. But as I say, the direction that they're trying to head with this is, is pretty good. So in this case, it looks like they've tried to work out, well, uh, in 2000, 2015, so 2015 by quantity. So how many we're selling, I'm not sure what those numbers are, but it's something. Um, and they've tried to do some analysis on, on, on the last name, which is pretty irrelevant. Um, they've done some analysis saying how many, if I click on that, it actually brings us up and it says, and this is uh, how many quantities sold, or what, what were the sales? or the number of sales, so the number of transactions per county. So that's a pretty decent insight that we probably haven't got already, but I mean, we could have got we, we could have got that with Power BI, so it's not like we can't find this one. If you do all, if you, um, you know, if you, if you look, model your data well in Power BI Desktop, then you're gonna find most of these insights um, anyway, honestly. But for instance, if you just wanted to really quickly see if, there was some insights that were interesting that you, um, you know, without having to do anything, this is certainly a way to find them. So this is saying, well, how many sales uh, for each day of the month? And then saying, well, the 31st is an outlier, but that's pretty obvious because the 31st, there's only a few months with 31 days. So that's not really that insightful, to be honest. And then there's some other ones and we've got some quantity and average of price by day of month. So again, the 31st, uh, it's just, just saying, well, how many, um, what's the quantity that you've sold based on the average price? So they're pretty well clustered here and it's tried to find an outlier there, but um, it's not really an outlier again because it's the 31st of the, you know, uh, 31st of the month. Um, this one's counting up, well, how many locations uh, there are in each different county, whether that's that important, I'm not sure. Uh, and as we come down here, really, there's really unfortunately not that much that is found. So um, in, this, in the data set that we've worked with, we've worked with here, it hasn't been that useful. But as I say, it's, it's an incomplete feature, but an awesome direction. If you combine quick insights with the Q&A feature, the natural language uh, feature, and how they're gonna integrate into the Office 365 um, uh, ecosystem, it's gonna be pretty pretty powerful, but they've thrown it out there now just so people can start using it and start playing with it. It's not going to be a game changer for anyone at the moment, but definitely worth a look. If you wanna refresh your insights, you can actually select the refresh there, but maybe maybe, maybe some of your, um, your data might have updated in the background. You might have automatically connected up um, your Power BI files to your um, raw data sources, so that, that can refresh the insights um, if you want to there.